वेलकम एवरी वन दिस इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन गिवन टू अर्स इज एन इक्वलेटल ट्राइंगल एंड अ सर्कल एंड द लेंथ ऑफ दिस रेड लाइन सेगमेंट इज नाइन सेंटीमीटर एक्साइटिंग पार्ट इज विद दिस लिमिटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन वी हैव टू फाइंड द रेडियस ऑफ सर्कल फॉर सेम विल डिस्कस टू डिफरेंट सोल्यूशन वे आर द सेकेंड सोल्यूशन विल बी अ लॉजिकल अप्रोच टू सॉल्व इट इन थर्टी सेकेंड्स लेट चेक दिस सिंपल एंड एलिगेंट सोल्यूशन Our first approach will be formal approach using geometrical theorems. Here, this triangle is an equilateral triangle, so this angle B here will be 60 degrees. Let's assume the center of circle is point O. Now let's join AO and extend it to meet at point E. So AE is the diameter, and thus this length will be R and R centimeter. Let's join DE here. Now if we'll see in the circle AD is a chord. which is subtending angle 60 degree at point b and thus by theorem it will subtend same angle at the remaining part of the segment and thus the angle at point e will be same as 60 degrees now ae is the diameter and thus by theorem this angle here will be 90 degrees now in this right angle triangle aed applying trigonometry we will get ad is equals to AE times of sin 60 degrees. Putting the values here, AD is 9 cm, AE is 2R, and sin 60 is root 3 by 2. Simplifying it, we'll get value of R as 3 root 3 cm, and that's our answer. Let's check the second approach, which is logical approach, to solve it in 30 seconds. For logical approach, let's make a copy of this geometrical figure here. Now, if we'll see, there is no data given related to the equilateral triangle and circle other than this length AD is nine centimeter. So, if we'll slightly reduce the uh, circle size and the triangle size, this AD keeping it nine centimeter, this point D will shift slightly on the right side. now this new figure obtained it still meets all the original data of the question and thus the answer that's the radius of the circle should remain unchanged let's reduce the circle size slightly more so that this point c and point d they will coincide at the circumference of the circle now the fun part is believe it or not this figure still meets all the original conditions of the question and thus the radius of this figure will be same as the radius of original figure and to find radius of this figure is much easier let's draw the height of equilateral triangle which by formula is root 3 upon 2 into side length so this height will be 9 root 3 upon 2 and ao length that's the radius of circle by formula it will be 2/3 the height and thus this ao length will be 2/3 of 9 root 3 by 2 which is nothing but 3 root 3 cm and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed both the solutions i will see you in next video till then tata bye bye